Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Damien with the DevSec Blueprint, and today what I want to talk to you guys about is how to accelerate your DevSecOps journey by learning these five key skills in five minutes. I've been seeing a lot of comments or posts on LinkedIn and Twitter about how to transition into DevSecOps or people getting lost in their DevSecOps journey. So I wanted to put together this video to give you guys some insight as someone who's already a cloud DevSecOps expert and has been in the industry for quite some time. Skill number one, cybersecurity concepts and best practices. So you wanna understand secure coding best practices, some of the common vulnerabilities, both OS and web application vulnerabilities, as well as common security related threats today. For understanding how to best secure your code or address code issues, I would highly recommend that you take a look at learning SAST and DAST. SAST stands for Static Application Security Testing and DAST stands for Dynamic Application Security Testing. Some tools that I recommend for learning SAS would be Fortify, Checkmarks, or SonarCube. For DAST, I would highly recommend looking into OWASP Zap. And to understand the foundational security concepts, I would highly recommend studying for the Comp TIA Security Plus certification. And I've listed the link to the book in the description that I would recommend. Skill number two, you wanna master a programming or scripting language. So the programming language that I always recommend is Python, and the reason is because it's one of the most common and easiest programming languages to learn within the DevSecOps industry. Also, you want to learn or master a scripting slash programming language simply because you're gonna be automating a lot of tasks, you're gonna be inserting new capabilities into these pipelines, like cleanup mechanisms. These programming languages and scripting languages will extend the functionality of these pipelines that you're going to be um, working with and that's the main reason why you want to master them skill number three understand and implement ci cd pipelines so before you get to the implementation phase you need to understand and study continuous integration ci and continuous deployment cd once you understand that then you want to put it into practice in this case, this is where you start to leverage those tools such as Jenkins or even AWS Code Pipeline and to be able to build, test, and deploy whatever applications that you want into higher environments. Skill number four, learn infrastructure as code tools and how to secure them. Infrastructure as code tools are very commonly used within the industry such as Terraform and CloudFormation, AWS CloudFormation to be able to deploy resources into our environments automatically or into the cloud environments automatically. Once you learn how to use those tools, such as Terraform, which I highly recommend because it's actually cloud agnostic, is that you also wanna learn how to secure them. And you can secure them by writing custom policies or guardrails to be able to thwart any type of vulnerabilities or threats in within your cloud environment. Some common tools that are used for preventing vulnerable resources from being created are AWS CloudFormation hooks or HashiCorp Sentinel for Terraform. And then also for a more generic preventive solution, there's also Open Policy Agent or OPA for short. And lastly, skill number five, understand and implement configuration management processes. So configuration management tools and processes are often used when we're trying to deploy and manage the operations of our resources across various different environments. So configuration management tools help keep our configurations for each of those resources consistent and ensure that they're adhering to best practices and also compliance regulations. Some examples of those configuration management tools that you would definitely need to learn are Ansible, Puppet, and Chef. Okay, to wrap everything up, those are the five essential skills and also other tools and various different concepts that you'll have to understand in order for you to be able to accelerate your career or even to transition into a career of DevSecOps. So without further ado, let me know if you have any questions about what it is that I've talked about. I'd love to address them in the comment section. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this channel with your friends. Let me know if you found this video helpful at all, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for your support. Later.